Okay, third attempt of the video. Not gonna even go with the preamble. I'm just gonna talk. Christmas has been alternately really, really good, and really, really horrible. Really good in the sense that I've seen a lot of my family, I've had some nice conversations, got a lot of nice gifts, including this I do want to show you. Camera! I'm going to get a quick capture for this so I can properly show you. It is a Lumix. It has six times optical zoom. It's like, I don't know, it's seven point something megapixels, I believe. I don't know what the exact number is, but anyway, it's very good. And so this is the front of it here. And the back. It doesn't even have um, a lens that you can look through. But, uh,. Here we go. See? It's just the picture on the back. Oh, look, it's me. Wow, that's so weird to see yourself on a camera on a camera. <laughs> anyway, random, I know. But yeah, this is my camera that I got for Christmas, and I actually got a, a lot of stuff this year. And when I thought about it, it was actually quite surprising that I got so much stuff because, I mean, that camera was, I don't know, 200 ish. Probably less than 200. But. I got like, I got two books and a CD and two movies and pajamas and chocolate and candy and a journal and pens and all sorts of other stuff from other people like a bunch of gift certificates for Chapters which is a local bookstore and Avalon Mall Money which is the big mall in town and my cousin last night gave me Tim Hortons Money which for any of you who don't know Tim's is a coffee and donut shop so Basically, I got a whole crap load of stuff, and there's a lot of stuff I didn't even mention, but in that way, Christmas is pretty awesome. I mean, yeah, it was nice to see everybody, because I went to about 50,000 family gatherings, because I have so much family. But, Christmas food. You had to know this was coming, guys. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's Christmas, and it's Edie. The two don't generally mix well. Um, last year it was restriction. I couldn't relax at family parties. I couldn't really eat much family parties. Didn't want to eat much. Or if I did, I'd get guilty and go purge it somewhere like I did at my aunt's house. But we won't get into that because it's depressing. Not that my story this year is much less depressing, but um, this year's been insanely bulimic and bingy. I'd say it's about equal amounts of both, that is, binging with purging, and then just binge, just eating a whole bunch of shit, and leaving it there, and feeling like crap afterwards. Not just, you know, mentally, but physically as well, you know. You just get ill from eating chocolate after chocolate after chocolate after chocolate. That's, chocolate has been my huge, huge weakness this Christmas. Like, I can't fucking stay away from it. I can't. I go to the chocolate box and have six or ten chocolates at a time. I, I think on Christmas Day or the day after, I think it was Christmas Eve, not or Christmas Day night. So you know the eve of Christmas Day, whatever, twenty fifth night. I went through my whole Terry's chocolate orange, about half my Toblerone, um, whole bunch of milk down with it, just because I wanted it. Because at first I was, you know, actually going to keep it in. Just couldn't stop eating it. And this is this is what happens. See, I start out eating something, you know, junk food, something I just want to eat. I'm like, okay, whatever. I can eat a little bit of that. I keep it in. It's fine. But then it's like I go into this mode where all I can do, like, I just have to the motions of hand to mouth and mouth chewing and swallowing. I just I have to keep repeating it and repeating it and repeating it and repeating it and eventually the food doesn't even like taste the same anymore, it doesn't taste as good, I don't want it, but I have to keep eating it or it's like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if it's kind of weird OCD thing, but it's like something bad is going to happen or, I don't know, maybe like I'll freak out if I don't do it, so then I do it and then of course I have to go purge after it because I just feel so physically full and sick. That even even if I'm not thinking about calories, which most of the time I'm not even thinking about, I still have to go get rid of it because it hurts. That's horrible feeling. So 
that's what Christmas has been like for me, just like constant shoveling of food in and in and sometimes out, but not out often enough, probably. I got on the scale yesterday, the day before. No, it was two days ago I got on the scale first. I was 134 pounds. I'm not happy about that. Not at all. I'm the girl who two months ago swore I would never get above 130. In fact, I would never hit 130. <laughs> yes, that didn't turn out to be true. And, um, yesterday, okay, after taking, I took three diuretics, okay, not because I, you know, wanted to lose weight with them or anything, because I know it's a bunch of crap, but I said, this is, like, my pledge to myself, that I'm going to be strict, I'm going to be good, I'm going to stop this fucking binging. Got on the scale the next morning, after, you know, peeing and uh, at night or whatever. 134.4. I was like, I did not eat anything after I took those diuretics. Because all I did after I weighed myself at 134 the other day, because I weighed myself at night, which I probably shouldn't have done anyway, but all I did was take the diuretics with a little bit of fluid. If anything, I should have been like the same way, but no, I was 4.4 pounds heavier. I was like, I was, I was actually angry at my scale. I was like, what the fuck? This doesn't make any sense. So. Yesterday, I don't know, I guess I had around a thousand calories or something, random like that. I had meant to have like 500, but of course I ended up going to relative sets and ended up eating, you know. I was doing good till then, but anyway, got up the next day, this morning, 32.2, so I was happy about that. So today, I did try to restrict originally today. And then as the day wore on, I was hungry, and I was hungry, and I was hungry. It was like that vague, hungry feeling all day. I just get, I get so annoyed with it. I'm just like, fine, fuck this, I'm gonna eat something. And then, of course that turned into a binge, and I ended up purging, and I ended up eating more after that, because I got hypoglycemic, because this is what happens to me sometimes after I binge and purge. Actually, often these days, I think it's happened to me probably twice since Christmas Day, at least. I mean, I get hypoglycemic, which, like, that just means you have low blood sugar. So, I think the physiological reason for it is that I've been, I've binged, right? So I have all this food in my stomach, so my body starts to produce insulin big time to try and handle all the food I just put in. But then, I take the food back out. So all that extra insulin has nowhere to be going. There's no food to digest, or not enough of it. So then, there's too much insulin, not enough stuff to digest, low blood sugar. And at least I think that's what happens, because I can't imagine any other explanation, and it seems to make sense, right? So then I get, I get incredibly confused. Like, my mind just goes. I don't have a brain, and I'm hypoglycemic. I start feeling really weak, I get shaky. Like, really shaky, like if I hold my hand like this, it'll be going, trembling, you know? And like, I feel like I'm gonna pass out sometimes. Sometimes I just feel weak, other times I'm like, I could hit the floor <laughs> right now. I never do, but, um, you know, it's, it's a very, very unpleasant state, hypoglycemia. If anybody's ever experienced it, you know. So, I ended up eating because I was gonna watch a movie in like 10 minutes, I said screw this, I can't, you know, sometimes I just like lie down and wait it out, because it does go away by itself on its own, but I do feel weaker if I don't eat something anyway, right after that starts to happen, so I had an apple and I had like half of a piece of pizza that was left on the fridge, but then I ate more after that, including a bunch of chocolate, because there's still chocolate lying around my house, and then I ate like an egg and a little thin piece of on a little thin piece of toast after which is like 